Hi, I'm Connie Holland and I'm a retired educator and I uh, also volunteer time with the Museum of Arts and Science Guild. And uh, you are currently in the little Van Gogh tent and we are very excited to provide these opportunities as part of the Halifax Art Festival. The children have an opportunity to come in. They are presented with a, uh, as you can see over here, we are, uh, present the children with a smock and then they uh, attack a blank uh, canvas and they are given the paints and the opportunity to create whatever they want to create. Um, we enjoy it just about as much as the kids do and it is a community involvement. We have students from high school that are volunteering as well as my friends, members of the guild, uh, just about anybody that stands still and gets close to this tent. We uh, adopt them as one of our volunteers. Do you have a highlight from the weekend? Excuse me? Do you have a highlight uh, from the, the, oh my the two gosh. days of the event? Oh my gosh, it's just so exciting. I saw a two-year-old child. Uh, we have the child-sized furniture, and uh, the, the children were just so excited. And one of them actually looked like she had done something that looked very impressionistic to me, and just, just full of color. So the little ones can create. Um, usually the children that are in two, two to three, four years of age, they're more interested in the movement of the color and the paint and um, actually the experience it's more about process with children that are a little older they're more into of course using paints and they like the movement but they're more inclined to be wanting to, to go toward a product so it really uh, this is a time when we thinned out considerably uh, we have uh, 19 easels and usually they every one of them's packed as soon as the child creates their work of art we hang it up so that it can dry and they come back and pick it up. Each child that comes in is presented with a badge that says Little Van Gogh. So they have not only their uh, painting when they leave, but they also have a badge as a remembrance of having been here. So it is a function of the Guild, and it's also sponsored by the Museum Arts of Sciences and the Williams family who um, have been instrumental and actually created the Children's Museum. If people are interested in helping or finding out more, how do they do that? Uh, they would call the Museum Guild, and uh, they would refer the uh, they would refer individuals to me that wanted to volunteer. And uh, again, it would be Connie Holland, and uh, they would direct them to me. Uh, actually, we do this every first week in November, and um, it's a wonderful opportunity. In fact, I was very surprised that the parents don't just come and drop the kids off. They stand with them and are really just as mesmerized as the students are as they create. And I notice a lot of parents having their camera, their their iPhones out taking photographs of what the kids are doing. So the parents are just as involved as the children are. So it's very exciting. It's exciting to me and the volunteers, some of them signed up for two hours and end up staying all day. They're so into it. I'd like to um, shout out a special thanks uh, to my husband, Kerry Holland, who is really uh, the support to me for all of this. He is the wind between, beneath my wings, so to speak, and he'll be here at 4 o'clock today to help pack up all of this stuff, and we'll go home and inventory and get it packed just right. He is a uh, re retired educator as well and taught uh, math at, in the high school level as well as college, and so he is the one that keeps me organized. So, um, uh, special thanks to him as well. So he counts as a community uh, volunteer as well. Sponsors? Uh, sponsors are actually, uh, our leading sponsor would be the Williams Children Museum, uh, the Museum of Arts and Science. Parents make donations. Uh, so that's pretty much our biggest... Do you need more? Um, well, we can always use sponsorship. That's for sure. <laughs>